The first set of changes relates to outdoor social interactions. Uh, we realise that meeting up, even outdoors, even in Scotland, uh, can be hugely beneficial for our well-being. So from Friday, we intend to relax the law so that up to four adults from up to two households will be able to meet outdoors. And in addition, we will make clear in the guidance that this will allow for social and recreational purposes as well as essential exercise. Meeting will be possible in any outdoor space, including private gardens, but please do stick to the new rules. Gatherings must be a maximum of four people from two households, and you should only go indoors if that is essential in order to reach a back garden or to use a toilet. And for now, please stay as close to home as possible. We hope to be in a position to relax, at least to some extent, travel restrictions within Scotland in the weeks ahead, but our advice is that it would not be safe to do so quite yet. I can confirm that, assuming no deterioration in the situation with the virus between now and then, we intend to allow communal worship to restart from Friday 26 March. This is in time for Passover, Easter, Ramadan and Visaki. In addition, the limit on attendance at communal services will be increased from 20, which was the limit in place before lockdown, to 50, assuming, of course, that a place of worship is spacious enough to accommodate that many people with two-metre physical distancing. I expect that further, more substantial changes will be possible in the weeks ahead, and I will set out as much detail as I can about that in next week's statement. And of course, as I've said before, if the data allows us to relax more restrictions more quickly than we have previously indicated, we will not hesitate to do that.